So you have a iPad Air fifth generation and you have an issue where you have a black screen. Even though you have a black screen, you know the iPad is on. Maybe you can um, get phone calls. Maybe you hear notifications coming in. Or if you go ahead and plug it in, you should be able to hear that as well if you didn't turn that option off. Okay, now take note that this iPad is fixed, but we're going to pretend that I have the black screen here. And I'm going to give you guys several easy solutions that we can do right now at your home. So the first thing we're going to do here is if you have a case, take the case off, okay? And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and restart it using a special key combination, okay? The special key combination is going to be this. It's a three key combo. What we want to do is press the volume up, volume down, and then press and hold this power button and do not let go until we see an Apple logo, okay? So let's pretend I have a black screen here and we're going to do this together. Okay, so we're going to restart it using the three key combo. Okay, ready? Go. Tap volume up, volume down, and then press and hold that power button and do not let go. Don't worry about what's on the screen here. Pretend it's totally black. I'm still holding on to this power button, waiting for an Apple logo to appear. Still holding. The iPad just turned off. Now it's going to turn back on. Still holding on to the power button. There's that Apple logo. Now I'm going to let go of the power button and let it boot back up and hopefully now you are out of the black screen. If you still have a black screen, then we're going to go to option number two. Okay, so you still have a black screen, no problem. Now what we're going to do first is you have the power button up here. What we're going to do is spam it, basically press it in and out because it's possible that the power button is, it can be stuck, loose, or jammed, or maybe you have lint or something in there. It can cause the black screen as well. Okay, so just keep spamming. Okay, we can stop right there. Now we want to go and plug in our power cable, give it a little bit of juice, plug it in, and then while it's charging, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to restart it using that special key combination while it is uh, plugged in and charging, okay? So again, let's pretend my screen here is black, and we're going to restart it now, okay? Ready? Using the three key combination. It's plugged in, it's charging, and now we'll do it together. Ready? Go. Tap on volume up volume down press and hold that power button and do not let go don't worry about what's on my screen let's pretend i have a black screen i have no idea what's going on i'm just keep on going to hold that um, power button down until i see an apple logo so still holding the power button where's that apple logo there's an apple logo now i'm going to let go of that power button and let it boot up normally and now hopefully you are out of the black screen if you're still stuck in the black screen then we're going to go to option number three Okay, so you still have a black screen, no problem. So from here, we're going to go ahead and unplug it. And now the next thing we're going to do is what I call the tap method. Okay, and what I call the tap method is what we're going to do is we're going to lay our iPad down and we're going to use two fingers and we're going to tap all over the screen and all over the uh, back of the iPad as well. Okay, and the whole premise behind this is you may have something slightly dislodged and a tap or two can pop it into place and the screen will turn on. Okay, so let's start off on the screen here. Leave the iPad uh, down flush on your desk. Just use two fingers, and what we're going to do is just keep tapping like this. Okay, now sometimes as you're doing this, all of a sudden your screen will turn on. Okay, just keep on tapping. Okay, keep on tapping. Let's just pretend my, my screen here is totally black, nothing is coming on. All over, tap, tap, tap. Same thing on the back. Okay, turn it over, and everything here all over the back of the iPad as well. Keep on tapping. And don't forget, very important, around the lens area, okay? Keep on tapping around the lens area. Now go ahead and turn it over and see if your iPad is, if the screen is working now, okay? If it's still black from here, no problem from here. If it's still black, then we're gonna do the uh, restart using the three key combination. Remember, press volume up, volume down, press and hold this power button and do not let go until we see an Apple logo appear. Then we can let go of the power button, okay? Hopefully you are up now. If not, we're gonna to go to the next possible solution. Okay, so you still have a black screen, no problem. The next thing we're gonna do here is what I call the massage method. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna massage the screen and the back. The whole premise um, is the same thing with the tap method, okay? So you can get like a cloth or something or a towel or a paper towel if you don't wanna um, smudge up your screen, but basically go ahead and hold your iPad like this and we're going to use our two thumbs and what we're going to do is press in the screen. Press 
press, press. Nice massage here, okay? Keep on going all the way, even into the edge of the corners here. And sometimes as you're doing this, you may hear a little click. If you hear a little click, then go ahead and double check to see if your screen turned on, okay? Anyway, if it's still black, no problem. Just keep on going. Nice massage all over. Same thing on the back here, okay? Turn it over. Give it like a nice massage. Press. Press. All over, okay? Press. If you hear a click somewhere, turn the iPad over and see if your screen is on, okay? If not, no problem. Just keep pressing. Pressing. Also, all around the lens, okay? Press. 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 Nice massage, okay? Now, turn it over and you can tap your power button to see if your screen is on, okay? If it's still black, no problem. Still black, then we're gonna do the um, restart again using the three key combination. Remember, tap on volume up, volume down, press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see an Apple logo appear, then you can let go of the power button, okay? Hopefully you guys are up and running now. If not, we're gonna to go to the next possible solution. All right, so your screen is still black, no problem. The next method I have for you is what I call the smack method. Why? Because we're going to smack the iPad. This is the same premise behind uh, the tapping and the massage method. You may have something slightly dislodged, okay? So this is what I'm going to do. We're going to go ahead and smack the screen and smack the back, okay? We'll start off on the back here. And just hold your palm out like that. You don't want to smudge up your screen. You can put a rag or whatnot on your, on your hand here. So we're going to hold the uh, iPad like this. And we're going to smack the back first, okay? Give it a couple of whacks there. And again, sometimes as you're doing this, all of a sudden your screen may magically turn back on, okay? Just keep tapping. And also on the other side of the back. Give it a couple of whacks here. Go ahead and tap the power button, see if your screen is on. Okay, it's still black, no problem, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and do the screen side here, okay? So we're gonna smack the screen. Also on the bottom of the screen as well. Now go ahead and look at your iPad, tap on the power button, see if your screen turns on. If it's still black, no problem. From here again, the three key combination to restart it. Remember, tap on volume up, volume down, press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see an Apple logo appear, then let go. And hopefully you are up and running now. If not, we're gonna to go to the next possible solution. All right, so you still have a black screen, no problem. The next solution, actually this is the last solution I have for you, is what I call the freezer method. Why? Because I want you to put your iPad in your freezer, okay? So make sure your iPad is naked, just like this. Go to your freezer, your nice cold freezer. Just leave your iPad in there just like that. Leave it in there 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, go back to your freezer and take out your cold iPad and check to see if your screen is on. If it's not on, if it's still black, then no problem. Again, we're gonna go ahead and restart it using the three key combination while the iPad is nice and cold. Okay, so remember, tap on, volume up, volume down, and then press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see the Apple logo appear. Once it appears, then you can let go of the power button. Now, the thing is, if you tried all of these steps and you still have a black screen, then what I would suggest is start from step number one try step number one, number two, number three, try all the way to the end. If it's still no go in the second try, try it three times, four times. Try it at least up to like seven or eight times. If you tried it at least seven or eight times all of the steps, I'm gonna say at least about 70, 75% of you guys should now have a working screen, okay? So if this worked for you, uh, give me a like, comment below. Uh, which method or combination of methods you think work for you. And if it didn't work for you, give me a dislike. All right. Good luck, guys.